If you're using corrective exercises for treatment, do you think that it's getting to the root cause of your patient's problem? And what are the physiological effects? Let's take a look. So we're gonna take a force output reading of her quads. Go kick. And the first one we get is 59.3. We're gonna look at her left one, which is the knee that she has problems with. And kick. And this one is only 25.7. So now we're gonna have her stand up and see if corrective exercises correct this problem. So she's got knee pain with a single leg squat and a double leg squat, we've already done that. She's going to do 10 single leg squats just with five, 10 pounds. Does that hurt? Yeah. Okay, stay above the pain. So of course, we never want to train uh, something that hurts. So we always just train around the pain. So training around the pain and doing a corrective exercise for the muscles that are inhibited or weak because we just tested quads. This one was much stronger than this one. This one has knee pain when she squats. So if we do 10 squats, which is what most physical therapists do with people when they have knee pain, let's see what happens. So if this fixed the problem, her knee pain would go away and this measurement would go up. So let's see what happens to her force output now. She was 25.7 and go. Now she goes down to 21.0. So did we just make her worse? Or did we get to the root cause and solve her problem by giving her corrective exercises?